OK, um, here what we want to do is it says to evaluate x equals 5 for the expression 2x plus 3 minus 2. Now, before we get into evaluating um, and you know, talking about that, we always want to see, can we just simplify our expression at all? You know, can we take this, um, can we take an expression and just simplify it in any terms? And I look, I can simplify these numbers right here. So I don't need to wait to the end to do everything. I can automatically, since I know I can already subtract these two numbers, that's what I'm going to do. So by doing that, I get 2x, 3 minus 2 is a positive 1. So now I have to simplify that to 2x plus, or 3, 2x plus 1, sorry. So whenever you have an opportunity to simplify something, just do it, okay? Because there are going to be times in math, you know, you're going to have that opportunity. Simplify it, that's going to help you out. So now the next thing is we have this expression 2 times a number plus 1, right? We worked on translating. It says 2 times a number plus 1. We don't know what the value of that number is until now. Now we're saying that the value of that number, we want that value to be 5. So therefore, I don't need to use the number anymore. I can now just say 2 times 5 plus 1. So when multiplying a number times a variable, we just leave it like that. A number next to a variable represents multiplication. However, when we want to represent multiplication between two numbers, we don't just put them next to each other. That'd be 25, right? We either have to use parentheses, put in multiplicate, or some type of multiplication symbol. So I'm going to use parentheses. This represents 2 times 5, which is 10 plus 1, which ends up equaling 11. And there you go. Voila.